Hello, Namaskar. A new case in linear programming graphical method. One more case with mixed constraints, but this time a very little thing at the end of the solution will be somewhat new. Let's start. Maximize that equals to 80x1 plus 120x2 subject to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 9. 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 36. x1 greater than or equal to 2. x2 greater than or equal to 3. And as usual, x1 and x2 both are non-negative. Let's first simplify and for that purpose, first equality or equation x1 plus x2 equals to 9. And now we can have the two points to draw the straight line. If x1 is 9, x2 will, x1 is 0, I mean, x2 will be 9. If x2 is 0, x1 will be 9. And now in equality part, x1 plus x2 less than 9. So if x1 takes value 0, then x2 will be less than 9. If x2 takes value 0, then x1 will be less than 9. On the basis of this, now we know that we can determine the shaded region and ultimately the feasible region. Okay. Next is 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 36. Equality or equation will be 2x1 plus 5x2 equals to 36. Yes. Again, there will be a fractional value. If x1 takes value 0, then 5x2 equals to 36. That means x2 will take value 7 point 2 that means 7 and 1 fifth if x2 takes value 0 then x1 will be 36 divided by 2 18 yes x1 greater than or equal to 2 that means equality part x2 equals to 2 and inequality part x1 greater than 2 for any value of x2 x1 will remain either 2 or less than 2 that means the line will pass through x1 equals to 2 parallel to x2. x2 greater than or equal to 3, equality will be x2 equals to 3, inequality will be x2 greater than 3. That means for any value of x1, x2 will be either 3 or greater than 3. That means the line will pass through x3 parallel to x1 axis. On x1 we need the highest value of 18 units and on x2 we need highest value of 9. Let's try to, as usual I am going to draw the sketch of the graph only. You people please use graph sheet. As and when any number of times you go for practice of these kind of sums or the even you practice for the same sum every time you use the graph paper. Yes. 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. And on x2 axis highest value needed is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now first 9 and 9, both 9. Okay, line passing through both these points. Yes, x1 plus x2 equals to 9 is the equation. Yeah, okay. x1 less than 9, that means towards 0. And x2 less than 9, again towards 0. Less than 9 values are below 9. Less than 9 values are inside 9. Okay, now second is, oh sorry, inequality part of this one will be 2x1 plus 5x2 less than 36. If x1 takes value 0, then 5x2 less than 36, that means x2 less than 7 and 1 fifth or in decimal value it is 7.2. If x2 takes value 0, then 2x1 
less than 36, that means x1 will be less than 18. Okay, 7.2. If you have taken scale of 1 centimeter equals 1 unit, 0.2 will be after 2 millimeters. And if you have taken scale of 2 centimeters, then 7.2 will be after 4 millimeters. Okay, 7.2 and 18. 18. Uh, this is the line of the equation 2x1 plus 5x2 equals to 36 x1 less than 18 so towards 0 and x2 less than 7.2 that means shading will be towards 0 x1 equals to 2 is here for any value of x2 x1 is going to remain 2 ok x1 equals to 2 and x1 greater than 2, 2 or more. Then similarly x2 equals to 3, x2 equals to 3 and for any value of x1 it remains 3. So straight line parallel to x1. This is x2 equals to 3 and inequality is x2 greater than 3. Yes, if we determine the shaded region, it will be for this upper side, for this outer side, for this inner side, for this inner side. So this will be the common region of all four inequalities. That means this is the feasible region. And as we know that by virtue of fundamental law, the optimal solution lies at any of the corner points of the feasible region. We have four corner points. This one is A and at A they are Yes. They are 3, 3. Sorry, 2, 3. They are 2, 3. I mean. 2 and 3. Yes, on the basis of these 2. At B, there must be a fraction at B. Yes. 2 and 6.4 over 6 and 2 fifth. You can write 6.4 because on graph paper we are measuring everything in integer as well as decimals values. Yes, at C, at C these are 3 and 6 and at D these are 6 and 3. Yes, thus these are the four corner points on any one or more of these four corner points the optimal solution is there let's check where the optimal solution is okay so we need to substitute the coordinates of the corner points in the objective function and to find the value of the, of the objective function at the corner points. Corner point coordinates at the corner points and value of objective function z equals to 80 x1 plus 120x Two, yes, corner point A, 2, 3, 80 into 2 plus 120 into 3, 80 into 2 equals to 160 plus 360, it is 520. At B, it is 2 and 6 
and 2 fifth. So, one, sorry, 80 into 2 plus 120 into 6 and 2 fifth or 6.4. It will be 160 plus 748. So, it will be 768. I'm sorry. So it is going to be 928. At C it is 36. That is 80 into 3 plus 120 into 6. It is 240 plus 720. So it is 960. And at D it is 63. 80 into 6 plus 120 into 3. So it is 480 plus 360. So ultimately it is 840. Okay. The objective is to maximize. That means we need to select the maximum value of the objective function. That is 960 at corner point. C the coordinates are 3 and 6. And that means... The optimal solution is x1 equals to 3, x2 equals to 6 and maximum value of z at this point is 960. That's it. Thank you very much.